Hey all and welcome to Planet Plipcam. Today is the day the Studio DLC was released for the Planet Coaster console version of the game and I'm so excited to go through a review today of all of the content that comes in this DLC. So today is the 29th of April and I'm reviewing this DLC uh, a couple of hours just after it was released so I'm so happy to have picked up this DLC. So it is available to purchase on the PlayStation Store and Microsoft Store for $7.99, that's in pounds, and then uh, obviously we've got the Ghostbusters that also came in this uh, new DLC release, which I will be reviewing in another video. So I do want to get straight into the video and start reviewing some things. So the first thing that you can see in this pack is we have the best, the one, the only, the chain link fence. I have been waiting for this for so long and I'm so glad to have this in the game. This is going to be so useful just for your realism in, in your park. And if I were to rename this uh, DLC, I would rename it the Realism DLC because it is so good for my parks. As you know, if you watch my channel uh, regularly, you'll know in my series, I have left all of my backstage areas completely blank. And now I have this pack, so we're going to be going through that all over again, which I'm so excited for because I love doing the realism. Obviously these uh, are all recolorable, all both, it's two-way multi-colour uh, recolorable and that's a really cool feature to these so I'm so so happy to have these in the game. As John T said from Geekism, he would pay the full price of this DLC just for those and I think I'm pretty much on a par with him. I think they are the best piece uh, in the pack so that's why we went up first for them and then we've also just got just the one bin for this pack but uh, we do have quite a lot of bins so I'm not complaining too much when you see the other uh, content in this DLC. So I do think that uh, 7 dollars in pounds is very, very uh, decent for this DLC. Personally, this is the best DLC for me, followed by the World's Fair pack. So I've kind of sorted all of the in-game pieces into different sections. So we've got all of these recolorable panels and cameras. These are all part of kind of what I'd call the studio set kind of pieces. And uh, yeah, really nice, all of these pieces. I'm not going to go through all every single one of them, but I will go what I think is uh, perfect for the game. So we've got this equipment trolley, and obviously we don't have TMTK, so we've got a computer screen here, which is perfect because obviously the sci-fi one is a bit unrealistic and now we have a more up-to-date one with a mouse we've also got these trolleys perfect for your kind of indoor maybe back back of house for all your uh, staff members and then we've got all of these uh, uh, I think it's called clapper boards I'm not too sure of all the movie names for it the boom microphone we have a huge green screen and uh, that can be changed with the images this DLC, I am happy with most of it, however, I am quite angry with some of it, which we'll get onto later. I'm really frustrated by what Frontier have done, but I will be going onto the uh, forums and just uh, asking them to explain uh, their decision making behind some of it. But on the whole, of course, Planet Coaster, my favourite game. I'm so delighted that Frontier decided to bring it over to the console. So uh, not too many hard feelings against them, but uh, yeah, just looking at some more, I've kind of grouped these into backstage areas. We've also got these uh, cardboard boxes, the newspapers, so good for realism, small pieces, it's just what we needed in the console game. No TMTK, so we don't have smaller pieces. These are just perfect for it. We've got the vending machines for the uh, newspapers. I don't... I really don't think these work with guests but you can recolor those we've got pallets as well i did make some of these in the game out of individual planks and try to use coal as nails but we now have one piece it's so important now that we use these one pieces uh, because obviously the eugene counter doesn't like multiple pieces we have loads of hazards hazard signs um sorry uh, just been watching champions league so i'm saying hazard um then we've got these manhole covers and uh, we've got Planet Coaster Slurgo. It must be the uh, name for, uh, I guess, sewage. And what I do with these, obviously turn them onto stationary and sink them into each and every one of your paths. Just spam them around your parks. It would look so realistic and uh, really cool. So these hazard, si hazard signs sorry, uh, do come on these barrels. We obviously only had one barrel in the game before this DLC, and now we do have these colored barrels, so that is another awesome thing. 
We also have traffic cones, again recolorable, uh, we'll definitely be doing lots of traffic stuff and obviously you've got these traffic signs, these police roadblocks, uh, Geekism did such a great job with those in his uh, Pleasurewood, uh, I think, Pleasurewood Hills, um, yeah so he did a good job there with those and uh, yeah we've got a container, loads of different storage boxes and then we've got these bin bags in this kind of big uh, container skip. So they've called it a dumpster. Again, what you need to do with this, turn it onto stationary for your backstage and it's just perfect for back of house. And uh, you've got them individual, a bin bag. Previously having to use things like ice cream to look like bin bags, it was awful. And then again, we've got more boxes and pallets. I'm so happy to have these. I've been waiting for these uh, boxes and pallets and bin bags and uh, all the kind of stuff in this DLC for so long. This was the one that I was commenting on YouTube videos of Frontier. Please can we have this one first, please. But they have held it back to nearly the last one. Obviously we might have, uh, we think we'll have two more DLCs to come. But uh, yeah, so happy to have the studios pack. We've got a wooden fence panel, a four meter one and a two meter one. These can be recolored. And then you've got these underground subway entrances to like the London Underground. It's a shame that you can't change what it says on there, that's a real shame, but obviously you need to add billboards there and signs. But also what I did notice, these billboards, I don't think that you can change the images on them, which is a bit weird really. So if you did want to change it up, you would have to place a billboard over the top, but no bother for that, it's all okay. And then we have lots more signs, so these, there's a lit one and then non-lit ones. Obviously you can change these with all of the images that we have. Obviously uh, I'm annoyed but I understand why we can't have all of the custom images. But uh, yeah, you've got the images that come with the game. It is a real shame. I could only see me using these for things like outside the shop fronts. What I do like is these teeny signs. We've got some big ones and then some uh, bigger kind of road signs. This will be perfect for my Radiator Springs build, my Route 66. And uh, yeah, uh, the text is a bit small on it, but we can uh, uh, get around it, maybe sinking some behind there. And obviously you can see that small green one, absolutely perfect for realism, just to get those small ones on doors or whatever. Then traffic lights, perfect for my cars theme as well. I'm so happy I've started my Radiator Springs uh, series. We've got the Do Not Cross or Cross the Walking Men. And uh, yeah, lots more stuff, including, I think they're called... Uh, I'm not sure, maybe booms or something. A crane here, the movie camera for that. That's obviously nice that it moves. Certainly I do want to do a studios pack, so that's fantastic that we have all of these different pieces which will uh, work well with that. Then we move on to all of these doors. As you can see, we've got these screen doors. We do not have videos in the game as of yet, which I will get onto quite heavily later on in the review. But obviously you've got all of your images that you can place on these. You've got ones that open wide, ones that fall to the floor, and ones that close down, and then sliding doors as well. So I think definitely in your flat ride should look good. Coasters, they are a bit difficult to implement there. And then we have this huge warehouse uh, kind of uh, door, which is really big. And uh, it is going to be di difficult to implement that into your park, unless you are doing a big studios park. Then we've got these huge water towers. That's really nice how that f uh, falls. You'll see that in lots of the screenshots and advertisements for this DLC. We've got the water storage tanks and the towers. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps up all of those different pieces in that section. And then we're getting on into this kind of, not a rant, but... Uh, questioning Frontier's decisions here. So we've got the parabolic screen clockwise and we've got anti-clockwise. You can change the image on here. Now in the PC version, you could create your own custom videos for this. And in the actual base get in, well, the base DLC, they did include numerous HD and non-HD versions of uh, different videos. And as you can see, they spin around. So why do, do we have this in the game if we can't put videos in it? It's so boring to look for about 20 seconds at a screen, at an image. It's not really good enough in Frontier. I would really like them to uh, consider trying to get some preset videos. I know it is hard on console just to get custom things, but please, please, Frontier, do add something that uh, just presets of videos, even if it's just pirate and your sci-fi. It'd be so nice to see. I don't understand why they've been added if we cannot utilize them how they're meant to look. 
So we've got all of these lights will uh, move on quickly. We've got animated lights. We've got a variation of different police lights. Obviously, they can all be recolored, which is perfect. As you'll notice, this was uh, released when it was released in the PC version. They did such a great job of letting you recolor so many things as they did uh, receive some criticism uh, from other DLCs where you couldn't customize things as much. So we're going to go into daytime and as I've seen from loads of creators, Mass Bandit's done it, Silverette's done it, so many people, uh, Delay Designer, just to name a few, they have used this non-lit emergency light as a perfect coffee cup. So obviously, I was thinking, what could I use for drink kind of stuff in all of my games, my Migway games, outside coffee shops. This is perfect for your cups in the game, so just an alternate use for that light. And obviously, they did, as I'm, as far as I'm aware, remove the champagne bottle along with the snowman uh, smoking pipe, which <laughs> is really annoying. But uh, yeah, that's a nice cup that we can finally have in the game. And then we do have a huge amount of uh, different special effects. And obviously, Studio Pack, you do need these to make your scenes and uh, dark rides. So these will be brilliant for your dark rides and all of your coasters, really. All around your studio parks. You can obviously use these anywhere you want, so you, uh, anywhere that you would like. And uh, we've got the newspaper effects. We've got the big explosion effects, the water, fire hydrants. Uh, different things like that and then we've got this these uh, straw explosions just loads of falling rubble and then you've got these huge explosions which are uh, you can kind of see they distort your actual camera that's how powerful they are and uh, they almost make the thing uh, freeze in the game so uh, huge explosions and they'll be uh, really cool in some kind of backstage studios rides so that's another cool thing so here you can see then, here is another kind of train set. You've got all your trams and your rail. And we're going to quickly catch up with this train. You can see it's falling off its rails. You will have seen this in trailers for this pack. And uh, yeah, obviously a really nice piece to have in game. It is quite a big footprint, but I think we can all make this work since it's such a brilliant piece. So that is a nice segue then into animatronics. So we've seen the train. And now we have to look at this monstrosity of falling people and just uh, people crawling all over the place. So, meet these guys. These guys are perfect for your security guards, for keeping people in your backstage areas, for keeping people in your point of sales. Uh, I mean, you can see, you can recolor them four way, which is so good for this game. And uh, yeah, these you'll see these uh, springing about the Frontier Workshop so much. Certainly Nerd Chacho, I think he colours his pink. And uh, yeah, so we've coloured one pink uh, as a tribute to him. And you can see that we've got all of these here. And you can see that we've finally got female animatronics. And obviously this was a huge step for Frontier because as far as I'm aware, they were all male uh, animatronics. So that's brilliant that you've got these. However, I must say, as Geekism said also, this clapperboard one, uh, this animatronic, the male uh, clapperboard am an <laughs> animatronic, he um, has a clapperboard, but there is not one for the female version, which is very odd. Um, so I wish that they gave us one of those. I don't know their uh, re uh, reasoning behind that but uh, we'll have to deal with it. Obviously, we've got loads of different animatronics with these people, so away from the kind of studios uh, kind of feel, we've got the ones that fall over, and these are very bog standard between all of them. Obviously, we've got the pole, which is annoying behind for realism, um, but yeah, yeah, we can deal with it again. We've got ones that float for some reason, but you can see there are a set of about uh, maybe eight or nine different kind of shows that they do, displays, and then they are repeated with all of the different characters that you can see in this graveyard of all of these animatronics. So you've got these really cool falling ones that fall into like a trough down below and they appear through the doors and uh, they get blasted back down and uh, into the box. What I could see these uh, being cool for is things like, I think at SeaWorld, they have shows where they uh, run around above the water in like tree houses in their big uh, water show. Falling down from there, I think that would be a really cool addition as you see those in theme parks often. Maybe I have to get that into my Missouri series. So then we've got the knights, the stuntmen fairy tale knights fighting. 
and here I'm showing you that you can actually recolor these which is really cool uh, so you can choose your sides and uh, color them appropriately moving on then we've got loads of more uh, animatronics things like these uh, kind of spacemen these obviously recolorable sci-fi much better than the other ones that we had previously much more detail now and then you can also see we've got these like American policemen could also be security guards in some places and uh, yeah if you are doing an American park these are perfect for you um, and then we move on into pirates now these do look absolutely fantastic because they've got the uh, planet coaster logo on their hat and their uh, beards they do look a bit like sausages if you ask me which is uh, very weird but I like it it's uh, quirky as all of the characters in planet coaster are especially the mascots we've got female versions of most of the actual am animatronics and uh, yeah you can see the cowgirls there the uh, space space girls and uh, the pirates so they all obviously come as part of the uh, pack with all of their different animations I've tried to place as many as I can but uh, yeah I did struggle to get them all down as obviously using the d-pad in the game is very difficult at some times when you're trying to place down loads and loads of pieces so we've got the zombies as well they look really good uh, just hobbling along there and then we've got mummies also the mummies look good and uh, they'll go nicely with the adventure pack it's almost like they're topping up some of the other DLCs with kind of stuff that we missed so like for example the sci-fi pack that was by uh, the base game they've finally kind of given us some more variants in the animatronics that we can use we've got different cowboys uh, obviously match up with the cowgirls nice with the uh, bandana kind of thing around their face and uh, yeah, they're really cool western uh, cowboys. Obviously recolorable again. So that's kind of all of the ones that you can see in the animatronics. You've got these weird floating ones, as I mentioned before. Uh, they only really fit with the sci-fi people. But uh, yeah, that is an overlook of all of those different animatronics that you have in the game. A really uh, high piece count of all of the different pieces when they advertise it. Obviously they list how many pieces you get. Quite a lot of them are repetitive, but I'm so happy to uh, have all of those pieces in the game. So moving on then, you have, I think, three wall sets in the game. So you've got this set, which has a real expanse of pieces, and you've got these uh, show kind of alcoves in the uh, in the buildings, which uh, does have some weird clipping kind of see-through issues in it. But uh, yeah, obviously the console version does struggle rendering things at some points. But uh, yeah, we also have this thing here. This is the fiberglass greeble, I think, panel explode. And it brings itself all together before bursting out. That will be perfect for your flat rides, your dark rides. And then we've got these huge glass panels. So I think when the Studios DLC came out, it was when the new free update for PC came out with all of the glass and that's uh, been accounted for there so you've obviously got all of your glass there and then you've got these really shiny uh, building pieces which can be recolored uh, it's not a full wall set it's obviously not got all of the desired pieces that I want but uh, the gloss tile wall does look good I can see it in some kind of I don't know Disney parks or something definitely more modern areas maybe cinemas so that is a nice kind of uh, thing for there so this is the opaque glass wall I'm not too sure about this one if I like it or not um, but then we move on quickly and we see this pavement so for Planet Bro Coaster I noticed that they did quite a lot of paving around the roads and uh, yeah they did a lot of this and obviously I think it was in America so they've done I think the yellow sidewalk uh, path uh, kind of you know the colors on the curb so that's a really cool addition to the game in the console version then we have all of these different trims I love trims in the game some of these do look like you could use them inside as obviously there's no theming on the outside of the uh, 90 degree uh, corner and then we've got these awnings it's nice to have finally one that goes around the corner so we don't have a gap when you hit the edge of a building because that would be really nice for a mall or something and then you've got all of these different kind of falling kind of pieces. So you've got a pirate one, again, just topping up like what we had for the pirates. Should have been in that pack, but uh, yeah, it's been given to us now, which is brilliant. We've got sci-fi falling panels topping up the sci-fi pack again. 
and then we've got all of the lighting fixtures which are placed as blueprints in the game which is much easier to put together we've got all of the steps the pillars all matching together we've got the lighting scaffold for the green screens we've got the uh, fire hydrants which is really going to add some realism to my radiator springs it's all coming together now and fire escapes and all of these uh, pieces obviously you get some more of these uh, walkways that go on the edge like fire escapes in the ghost pack ghostbuster pack but i will cover that in another video um, it's a bit weird how they just included them in Ghostbuster. I think that if you are going for a studio and they're going to include some in this one, I think there should be some in the studio. But then obviously you've got all the windows and you can see at night that they all have some lit versions with all like seeing, seeing someone in there. And then the glass does smash from time to time, which is a really nice touch uh, from Frontier. So I'm really happy with those pieces. So moving on then, basically... A huge part of the trailers is seeing all of these vehicles as of yet I have not tried to build any kind of cars in the game because I knew that we could wait for the studios pack and input all of them into our uh, car park so I've made car parks in Missouri Gardens for sure and uh, need to sort it out now with loads of cars and uh, get all of the backstage sorted so that certainly we'll have some episodes going through backstage in my Missouri series so then you've got obviously all these variations of cars, the taxis, the police cars, all of the different fire engines. And then you've got these variations of the uh, stunts. So just like they had in Disneyland, I'm not sure what it's called now, uh, some kind of motor show. I really enjoyed it when they had some kind of cars co uh, collaboration, uh, just as it was meant to be for my Radiator Springs. But uh, yeah, they had some kind of motor show and they'd be perfect for that kind of show that they had in Disneyland Paris. And then you'll see that this is one of these uh, travel buggies that will work perfectly in Missouri. And uh, yeah, that is good because it does uh, link with the rides that I will show you later on the transport ride, which guests can get on and off. You've got all of these different helicopters. And all of these helicopters can uh, obviously blend in with all of your kind of movie sets. I'm not sure how often I'll use these, but that does wrap up all of the kind of different uh, kind of vehicles so let's move on into the three rides that you get into this uh, in this DLC so the first one is Horror Heights so a prestige of 340 without the uh, all the scenery and 3.2 excitement obviously it's not going to be the most exciting it is down as a flat ride the guest center as you can see I just wanted to show you how it works without any scenery on it it's uh, obviously just like a Tower of Terror at the Disneyland parks. Heads up and down, looking at the scenes, and then falls and get you some good airtime, uh, heart in your mouth moments. So uh, yeah, I would never ride one of those in real life. I never wanted to go on uh, the uh, Tower of Terror when I went to Disneyland. It uh, looks horrible, but uh, yeah, it's cool to have it in the game. So we can sit on our uh, comfy sofas or whatever, and uh, yeah, we can ride it in the comfort of our own homes. So we're going to give you a POV of the uh, actual blueprint that Frontier gave us. Now in the PC version, lots of people were commenting that uh, Frontier don't do a brilliant job with all of the uh, different blueprints. So that would be feedback for Frontier. Obviously they can't change it now, but uh, the blueprints could be put together a little bit more. And as Geekism said, if they just gave it to some creators, I do think they would get some better results and more exciting blueprints for the DLC, which would sell it ultimately a bit better for the people who will buy it. So as you can see, they've just placed all of these animatronics. Sadly, we have the poles in their uh, legs, but uh, yeah, they have three legs. And uh, yeah, we've got all of the animatronics just showcasing all of the different things that this ride can do going up and down all of the way. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've got some prisoner zombies here with all the spillages of the uh, big cartons of uh, whatever it was. And then we head down and we've got some more zombies, police shooting those huge fire triggered effects. That's quite cool. Uh, the, at least they've put the air con in there. And then we zoom up, uh, I think for the last view, and you see this helicopter. So we'll zoom in here. You can see how cool the helicopter looked with all of the police. The uh, security guards are sat on the fence. How cool is that going to be in our parks? I'm so looking forward to doing that. And then we've got the zombies underneath. It's almost like they're in hell down here. And uh, yeah, and that is the end of the ride. So that lift heads up 
for the next ride and that is Horror Heights in the game so it does have quite a cool external could have some more detail again but uh, yeah now we go on onto Panic at the Parking Lot Tommy CM did a brilliant review, uh, released a video earlier than this video and uh, yeah he reviewed and showed and the first time that I realised that we do not have the moving uh, par parabolic um, screens uh, so I was uh, almost shouting at Tommy CM's uh, video so uh, little did he know that I was so angry at uh, ha not having those screens and I'm really disappointed and I will be going into the uh, forums just to just to uh, not nag but just have a uh, another conversation with one of them again as they are so helpful and they are doing such a brilliant job with this game but uh, I would wish that it would just add some uh, videos just presets for this so we're going to have a quick ride on this again we're going to go in a bit of a faster pace you can see that this uh, remotion ride does flip you around and uh, obviously you don't need to move the camera around too much uh, as it does show you exactly where you want to go and obviously you can build it just as you would with all of your different kind of uh, flat rides and dark rides that you found in the spooky pack however this ride I would say is pretty much useless if we don't have this parabolic uh, video because it is the main thing for this ride the main attraction are you enjoying looking at this planet coaster logo I know I'm not so uh, yeah it should have 3d effects with a video please just add maybe five maybe five would be enough just to uh, uh, make it worth the price of the DLC if we're going to pay for it thinking that we're going to get that looking at reviews of the content on the PC version um, it would be lovely to have that but uh, I do understand why we can't have it uh, having custom ones but it is so frustrating so you've just got the transport ride there the big screen tour definitely going into Missouri as a safari ride I've been waiting for this for so long recolorable it's perfect obviously guests don't go on uh, the kind of transport rides all the time as they should do just to get around the park they go on it for the experience which is a shame but uh, it is going to look awesome in your parks so then we're just going to go through all of the blueprints we're just going to skim past them all just to show you what kind of stuff you can actually do with your blueprints in the game things like these street signs you can see the bin bags grouped together all of the newspaper we've got a variation of all of the chain link fences hallelujah we have the chain link fences finally i can't wait to go and place them in my park and uh, yeah, it's going to make realism so, so cool around my rides. There was never a way to uh, make it look realistic that you can't uh, get into the rides. But we now have the opportunity. And now I think that apart from obviously things like the Monsters Pack um, and the Knight Rider Pack, I think that I have enough pieces to properly go in, fully commit and uh, make my most realistic park, which I'm sure to make a series on, which I'm really looking forward to. As obviously this game will never die I will play this for many years to come and uh, I can't wait to just keep going and build different parks there's so much creative possibility so much more now added with this DLC and I do hope that you have enjoyed taking a look at it today with me obviously I did miss these sharks I don't think I placed the animatronics I'm just going to show you quickly here you can see we've got different variations of the sharks this one's been colored green which is pretty cool in the uh, neon kind of uh, explosion zone uh, so that's cool i'll just show you them now and uh yeah look look out for a ghostbuster uh, dlc i'll go through what i think about the pricing for that and uh yeah we'll we'll have another review of that out first my favorite is definitely the studios pack so i had to get that reviewed first but i do hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have, then I would really appreciate a like on this video. I've just gone through half an hour of uh, my throat being dry and uh, we're nearly at the end. So I can't wait to get a drink of just talking to you non-stop, no script. So uh, if you do appreciate that, just getting my raw thoughts and opinions. And if you have made it to this uh, point in the video, I'm so grateful for you. So thank you so much. If you are new to the channel and uh, you're watching this for the first time, please do consider subscribing. For Planet Coaster console specific content, I do no other video games on this uh, channel. I'm so happy to cover this game and do series, tutorials, Sorry, I'm all of... <laughs> there is Siri. He's uh, thinking that we do uh, kind of tutorials. That scared me. Maybe you could hear it in my voice. Um, we're nearly at the end, um, but here we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to stop rambling. 
Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next one.